What's up, family? I woke up this morning and saw a video from Dr. Umar. It was a message to black folks. He said, you will never be respected until Africa is respected. I ain't got no problem with that, but some of y'all do. So let's talk about it. On yesterday, I posted a video about Akon talking about how if black people came to Africa, they would experience so much prosperity. Specifically, he was speaking of black people in America who have the knowledge, resources, and discipline. And I 100% agreed with what he said. My only hangup was that Africa can't defend itself against America. And the moment Africa rise, they see Africa becoming an, a true economic power. The hating ass whites in the UK and the US are going to come for Africa and they are going to decimate whatever country that is that is thriving and being self-sufficient and independent. History has shown us how they get down. So I'm not with that. Now, fast forward, wake up this morning, see this video of Dr. Umar talking about how black people in America will never be respected until Africa is respected. This is why Africa matters. Now I know fam, I know about the hangups. I know that there are African people who come to America and try to talk down on black folks, look down on black folks. And I know there's some Africans in Africa who look down on black folks. But that just goes to show you there's haters everywhere. But collectively, African people love black people. This is part of the propaganda machine to divide us. This is how they've been able to control us. Keep black people in America and pe black people in Africa divided and you can continue to divide and conquer. That's the game. So I'm not with the whole looking down on Africa and turning my back on Africa. We got to come together the entire diaspora. We need each other. It is the only way to survive. America really ain't the way out, fam. What are we counting? 400 plus years? We're still fighting to be just treated like decent people? Be it, but we ain't looking for no special privileges. We just saying, get out of the way and let us live. You see? But they keep running interference. Running interference. They got whole think tanks designed to interrupt our lives, to subjugate us, to imprison us. So, Dr. Umar said also in the video, what African nation is going to say the next time you kill one of ours? He, first of all, he, said, he was talking about how the reason there's so much killing, the reason why black people get killed in broad daylight in America is because we ain't got no backup. We have no backup. We're the only people in this country who don't have a country to back us up. Not even the country that we live in. This country don't back us up. If it did, we wouldn't have these issues. So he said, what country in Africa is going to say the next time you kill one of ours, don't come over here looking for no oil. Don't come over here looking for no diamonds. He reminded us that Africa is the only continent that is self-sufficient, does not need another continent to survive. Without Africa, there is no military. There is no atomic bombs. There is no cell phones. There is no internet. 
They need all of those elements that make those things from Africa. So essentially, Africa is in the position to bring the world economy to a screeching halt. You ever wonder why you don't see police killing Asian people? Because they got backup. Remember when that cop in Minnesota killed the white woman from Australia? Remember how fast they resolved that? Man, dude was in jail the same night. They had dude uh, tried and convicted. Uh, it wasn't no marches or nothing. Sent the family like $20 million or something like that. Hey, they got that settled quickly because they didn't want an international crisis. See, fam, it comes down. You cannot try to plead to their morality because they have none. It's about money. It's about money. It's the only thing that they respect is blood and money. That's it. Blood and money. And they respect money actually more than they respect blood. As much as they love blood, they respect money even more. This is why they will make somebody bleed to get to money. They'll kill their own mama, their own daddy, their children, their siblings, their grandmama, grandpappy, for money. It comes down to money. What other country in this world is going to stand up for black folks? The only reason why Africa Ain't, ain't no other countries in Africa has done it because they really ain't got the power to. They ain't really respected. They're not, what put it like this, they got the power, but they don't use it. So they're not respected, you see? And I'll take it one step further. They don't have the military, you see? Because if they go to riding on agents in America, China going to unleash something on them worth a whole lot more than sanctions. I mean, it's going to hurt a whole lot more than, than sanctions. You see, you got to be able to protect yourself. Just like you, you're able to protect your family and your house, you know, you, you protect yourself when you move around, you know. You got to, a, a country, a nation has to be able to protect itself and has to be able to protect its people. When, think about growing up, fam, some of you probably was like the leaders in the community, right? And people knew not to mess with your sister, or mess with your brother, mess with anybody in your house, because they knew that there was gonna be consequences and repercussions, swift consequences and repercussions, imminent consequences and repercussions. That's how it has to be. That's how a nation has to be. It's the only way for it to be protected. And if it can't do it itself, it has to have a big brother that'll stand by him and do it. That's why you got certain nations that are aligned with China. America won't dare touch. They won't dare try them because they know what's going to come with that. You see? So Dr. Umar is right on point. He's on point no matter what you might think of Africa. Africa is our only hope because these motherfuckers here ain't budging. They ain't trying to share none of that power. And even if they lose a little, a tiny little step, they lose one judgeship. They lose one seat on the Supreme Court. They panic. Oh, I want my country back. They ain't trying to share none of that power. So the only way is Africa. Now, anybody else got something to say, hey, and they got the right to do that. And if you want to follow that advice, that's fine. I'm not going to even uh, try to discourage it. Hey, do what makes you sleep good. But from, from where I sit, from where I stand, from my viewpoint, everything that I've seen leads for, for black people in America to truly gain freedom, 
to have respect. The road leads to Africa. But what say you? Drop a comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts. No more talk. What the talking about? Yeah.